How did you make this phone call and what precipitated it? Well, when I was a little girl and I was being really abused by my adopted family, uh, I was given a rag doll uh, by somebody who left it on my porch and it said, you know, with a little note that said, from someone who loved you. So I took that rag doll and it really meant a lot to me. And they took my doll away. And when they took the doll away, I completely, uh, <laughs> I, I just completely lost it. I felt stripped of, of everything. It made me mad, it made me angry. It made me feel like, okay, I tried to, you know, I looked for the opportunity to, to get out. We were told like, those thoughts, Arvin can hear those thoughts. And so I was really afraid. So I would try to like think the thoughts really fast, make a plan really fast, and then try to like clear my mind of all of it so that he couldn't read my mind. Because right. I thought he could read my mind. He had indoctrinated you so much that if you thought something, he would know it. Absolutely. They kept like extra tabs on me and, and would report back to Arvin often on, on me for things that I would want to do. As an example, uh, when we got in there, they did a color wheel, and they like would go over the color wheel and see what color God wants you to wear. And for me, it was peach. And I'm like, I hate peach. I don't want to wear peach. It's the worst color on me. I had to look to make sure if I'm wearing peach. <laughs> but uh, And so every day, I would have to wear something peach. When you called CPS, they didn't come rushing right out. No, and that I... What did you say to them? <laughs> I talked to them really fast. I said, hi, this is this is Amber. This is my the address that I'm at, and we are being sexually abused here. We're supposed to be having sex with each other, and they're withholding food, and, and just hurry and come quick, and don't tell anybody that I called. Please, 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 just don't tell anybody. Got to go by, and hung up. And then I waited, and I thought, like, okay, they're going to be here any minute to come and, and save me, and it took weeks and weeks and weeks until somebody finally did show up. And then when they did show up, the guys all came out again with guns and surrounded the social worker that came to get me, and they had to call the police and have a standoff in order for me to, you know, get in the car and leave with social services. Inside a notorious religious sect. The adults would have the children dance in lingerie. The child survivors reunite. You say that you were taught that you need to be perfect. We would get weighed every morning. And if I got over 108, then I was going to hell. To expose the abuses. They had us performing sexual acts. You were motivated to be raped because that was your ticket to heaven. All new Dr. Phil.